We can use factoring by grouping to solve trigonometric equations. Let's do an example. We're asked to solve this equation for exact values and determine values for angle theta. If we group the first two terms, we can factor 2 sine theta from both terms. This gives us this equation. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us this equation. Factoring negative 1 from the last two terms on the left side gives us negative 1 times 2 cos theta plus 1. Factoring 2 cos theta plus 1 from both terms gives us this product of two factors. We can now solve this equation by equating each factor to 0 and simplifying. We'll start with the factor on the left, 2 sine theta minus 1 equals 0. Now we'll simplify it. We can add 1 to both sides to give us 2 sine theta equals 1. So sine theta equals positive 1 half. Two angles that have a sine of positive 1 half are 30 degrees, which is pi over 6 radians, and 150 degrees, which is 5 pi over 6 radians. Now we'll equate the second factor, 2 cos theta plus 1, to 0, and simplify it. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us 2 cos theta equals negative 1. So cos theta equals negative 1 half. Cos theta equals negative 1 half for angles 120 degrees, which is 2 pi over 3 radians, and 240 degrees, which is 4 pi over 3 radians. To summarize, these four angles for angle theta will solve this equation exactly. A good way to check your answer would be to insert each of these four angles in for theta on the left side of the original equation and see if you get one for an answer. Let's do one more example. We're asked to solve this equation for exact values and determine values for angle theta. We'll start by adding 2 root 3 cos theta to both sides of the equation and then group the first two terms on the left. We can factor tan theta plus root 3 from terms 1 and 2 on the left side to give us this. We'll subtract tan theta from both sides to give us this. Factoring negative 1 from the last two terms on the left side will give us this equation. Factoring tan theta plus root 3 from both terms gives us this product of two factors. We can solve this equation by equating both factors on the left to 0. We'll start with the first factor, 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0, and we'll simplify the equation. Adding 1 to both sides gives us 2 cos theta equals 1. So cos theta equals positive 1 half. Cos theta is positive 1 half for angles 60 degrees, which is pi over 3 radians, and 300 degrees, which is 5 pi over 3 radians. Now we'll equate the second factor, tan theta plus root 3, to 0 and simplify the equation. Subtracting root 3 from both sides gives us tan theta equals negative root 3. Tan theta is negative root 3 for angles 120 degrees, which is 2 pi over 3 radians, and 300 degrees, which is 5 pi over 3 radians. To summarize, the value of 60 degrees, 120 degrees, and 300 degrees for angle theta will solve this equation exactly. A good way to check your answer would be to insert each of these three angles in for theta in the original equation and see if it's correct for each one.